Okay, so the best way to apply the law of assumption is to know the crux of Neville Goddard's teachings, which is just one line. There is no one to change but self. When I understood this, I, I've seen the biggest results of law of assumption in my life. Because just like everybody else, and I get these sort of questions and sort of comments a lot that people say, and I want to change him, I want to change her, I want my SP to show up this way, I want them to do this. I'm not saying that you shouldn't desire them to, you know, love your approach to reach out to you appropriately. I'm not saying that you shouldn't want your boss to come and give you a raise. I'm not saying that your mother or somebody who wronged you should come up to apologize you. But that is the hard, and I would go even as far as saying it's the wrong way of applying the law of assumption. You see, Neville Goddard never talked about another. When he talked about law of assumption, it is not law of attraction, remember. People are confusing Neville Goddard's teachings and Law of Assumption with Law of Attraction. Law of Attraction says that you have, to, you have to become vibrationally aligned with something that is outside of you. Your SP, your lover, money, car, house, whatever. And you have to vibrationally become aligned with it to attract it to you. Well, Neville Goddard says, leave the thing alone, change yourself, become the man or woman who has the desire. You see, there is a huge difference between the version of you who have what you want and who doesn't. It's, I know, I know it is, it is, it can sound like philosophical or difficult or abstract. But this, when I understood this, I saw results. When I was doing what everybody else was doing, that is chasing something outside of me, it didn't work. It is as simple as that. So. If you want your SP, drop their story, what they did to you, or how they are showing up right now. Let them completely go. Even let this desire go for a while if it's too much for you. Focus on self-love. Do you feel loved? If you do, they will come. Don't worry about it. Your subconscious already know who you want. So the moment that you align yourself within, you feel the love, you feel the satisfaction. You feel like you're a cat, you feel like you're a wife material, a husband material. They will come. It's a guarantee. Almost, if they don't come, somebody better will come. But you will not be loveless in your life. That's a guarantee. The moment you change yourself to be a person who is loved, you will have love in your life, abundance of it, and most very high probability that that person will be in your life. They will show up to love you but what we do is we are like oh i want to affirm that he comes and apologize to me or i want to affirm that she comes and you know she contacts me first or i want her to you know tell me blah 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 that is all okay i'm not i'm not i'm not saying that you shouldn't do it but it's a long it's a detour right you, this is a straight path that is you yourself this is a straight path to changing yourself but you're going all the way around yourself and ultimately you will have to still change yourself to have them i'm telling you i'm telling you you will ultimately whatever manifest manifestation technique you do whatever whichever teacher you follow whichever, whichever process you apply ultimately it is you who will change your feeling state will change you as a person will change, your thought patterns will change, and you will feel different. I'm speaking from personal experience. Whenever I want, I, I, I knew that I will have my desire now. And how did I knew? I just, I just accepted it more so each day, and I start obsessing over the desire and just becoming the person who has it. And there comes a time when you no longer care about the desire because this this is the point you want to get to. You don't even care about the thing because you have the feeling within. You are the man now. You are the man who is earning uh, X amount of money. And so you, you feel free, you feel abundant. You don't even care about that money. You know it's coming. It's a knowing at that point. But if you focus on the money, 
Well, it's not here yet, isn't it? The money is not here. You will keep looking at it, it will not be here. And no matter how much you want to attract it, no matter what you do, you will be in this waiting state and anxious state. And that's just not, again, I'm not saying it doesn't work. Absolutely it works. People can manifest in the depressed state. They can manifest in the most, you know, even if they have doubts. I have manifested things when I had doubts. Especially when it comes to SP, we have the biggest doubts. And people still manifest. And and it, it happened. I'm just trying to tell you why take a round trip, you know, a long trip and back to yourself. <laughs> when you can change yourself first. You can go round and round attracting things, trying to change them, trying to change this, trying to change your boss, trying to change your mother, your best friend, your SP, you know, trying to get money to come to you. You can do all that. Ultimately, when you will have that thing, you will realize that you are no longer the person who was in the lack. And you will be like, well, I could have done it much faster. <laughs> but I understand. This is, this is just a slight mental shift. And in manifestation community, it's, it's, it's like we put the things that we want on pedestal and we start, we stop feeling good about ourselves. We forget ourselves. We, will, we lose ourselves in that desire, but in the lack of that desire. Neville Goddard says to lose yourself in the love of that desire, love of that burden, but we do the opposite. We put the thing on pedestal, we forget to love ourselves, we forget to, you know, feel good. Do think, do enjoyable things in our life. For example, if you want your SP and if he or she hasn't texted, you will, you're gonna do nothing all day, you're gonna be miserable or sad and that, that is, you deserve to be happy all day, enjoy your day and they will come. Don't worry about them. But this is what we do. We, we put the thing on pedestal. We think is if I don't have it, I'm incomplete. I'm I'm not fulfilled. I'm nothing without whatever. And you you have a long journey that is painful or difficult or hard, whatever. Again, you will still manifest. If you persist, this is where persistence has been talked about a lot, that persist, persist, persist. But persistence doesn't have to be painful and a long process. Persistent, persistence is all about being persistent with the version who has the desire. A man who is married, a woman who is married, right? How do you feel? You feel loved, you feel satisfied, right? And you feel cherished, you feel uh, uh, like a priority. So. If you feel those feelings, you're happy in the day and the manifestation comes faster and your days are enjoyable as well. I know this is, I've been there. I'm not trying to undermine or say that you are doing wrong or something. No, I've been there, the difficult period. But I'm telling you, the sooner you drop the trying to get something and the more you focus within trying to change yourself, right? For example, uh, the attractive version of you, right? The loved version of you. They would, how would they feel? They would feel, they would love themselves first, most importantly. They would, they would love themselves and therefore they will, they might work, start working out, they would start looking, taking care of themselves maybe, and they start, you know, putting themselves first, then other people. So if you, you f bring the focus within, right? And then you start to feel good. And when you feel good, you become more and more of the version who has the desire. And the desire then has no choice. The reality is a mirror, remember? Reality has, reality is depending on you. It has absolutely no choice to give you what you want once you are, once you are that person. But if you are not that person, then the reality, it's, 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 it's like your slave. The reality is your slave. We we put it the other way around. Like we are the slaves of reality and external thing, and we can't do anything about it. It's the other way around, actually. Uh, the reality is reflecting your inner world, and the more we are in the state of getting something rather than becoming the person who has it, the more reality reflects that you still don't have it. You don't have it. It shows you you don't have it. And so, the understand if 
I, I suggest you to read Navel exclusively maybe drop all the other videos from YouTube and everybody else and just exclusively read Navel and you will understand He's, his teachings has, has, has everything in it for you to manifest whatever you want but understand the crux of his teaching which is just one simple line no one to change but self but I've heard it repeatedly that uh, we put the focus on something else, external world, to change the external world. We are foc focusing on the circumstance and not ourselves. And thus the circumstance has our full attention on So it stays. It stays. That's it. Whatever has your attention will stay. And whatever you forget about, you drop, it will wither away. So just understand this one it's very nuanced point i i have struggled with it for a long time as well because i was i was like what does he mean by change yourself right i will change when i get the desire right <laughs> no you have to change first you have to change first you have to put yourself first you have to you know put the focus on you and not the desire and once you become the person who has it the desire will appear so effortlessly and i tell you you will feel totally natural like of course like you won't feel surprised and overly all over the moon about it trust me you'll be like okay like you will feel pleasant you will feel a warmth within but not like over the moon like wow i'm complete and fulfilled now because you will already be feeling that for quite some time and then the manifestation comes and boom you're like all right i am successful on, on to the next thing so this way you enjoy the process and you manifest effortlessly otherwise it's gonna be a hard struggle okay this is it for this video until next time Bye.